Hey everybody, what's up? Today we are going to be leaving Florida for this video and heading down to Cozumel, Mexico. Cozumel is a very popular port of call for cruise ships that sail out of Florida, and there's a good chance that if you've ever taken a cruise out of Florida, you've spent a day here. My family and I were recently some of those people. We sailed here on Royal Caribbean's Allure of the Seas, and while here, we spent the day on the all-terrain buggy and snorkeling excursion that Royal Caribbean offered. I believe this same excursion is available on the other cruise lines as well, and I'm hoping that this review might help you make a decision on doing this excursion and what you can expect if you do decide to book this one. I'll also be posting the very long, mostly unedited, director's cut of this excursion too, where you can get a more full-length, detailed view of the entire experience, and I will link to that in the description and at the end of the video. First off, let's talk about the pricing. This excursion was priced at $89 per person, and that might fluctuate a bit depending on the season, the cruise line, and if any of the cruise lines are offering any special deals. And the experience lasted about four hours from the time we got into our all-terrain vehicle to the time we returned to the drop-off point. All cruise ship excursions are a little bit pricey, and you might be able to find a better deal on something like this while you're here at the port instead of going through the cruise line. But just so you know, if you do book your excursion through the cruise line and something happens that might prevent you from getting back to the ship on time, they are guaranteed to wait for you. But if you decide to book a tour on your own and something goes wrong, there's car trouble, somebody gets hurt, or whatever else might happen, you do run the risk of getting left behind on Cozumel if you're not back to the ship on time. So it's a little bit more expensive, but you are buying a little bit of peace of mind when you go through the cruise line. We were told to meet just off the pier in front of Margaritaville Cozumel at 9 a.m. where we met our tour guide, signed some waivers, and we were all coerced slash asked if we wanted to buy extra insurance for the vehicle. This was a bit of a surprise because I would have assumed something like that would have been already included in the price, but they do kind of scare and pressure you into paying an extra $15 per driver and say that you were responsible for any damage to the vehicle without the insurance, and you're also responsible to any injuries or damage you might cause to others if you have an accident out there. This might have been a scam, but I was here in Mexico with my family. I know nothing about local insurance laws, so I decided I'm on vacation. I just coughed up the extra few bucks for the peace of mind, but I really didn't like that little surprise cost, so just be aware of that if you do decide to do this. After that, they give you a helmet, which you are required to wear, and a handkerchief for your face so you don't get mud on you, and a short rundown on how to drive these things. And these vehicles are really nice. They put us all in four-seat Polaris Razor all-terrain vehicles, and they were in great condition, and they drove really well. I didn't feel like I showed up and they put me in some old beater, but no, these were really cool and really fun to drive. But they do require that anybody who's driving be a licensed driver and you do need to show them your driver's license at the pier. After that we took off through town and went on a pretty good long drive through Cozumel. I've been to Cozumel a few times before but I've never really explored very deep into the city so it was pretty interesting to see what everything looked like back there. It wasn't a guided tour or anything like that you just had to do your best to keep up with the guy in front of you and while they led you to the all-terrain portion of the trip. But before we went off-roading, we did make a brief stop at a monument to the Mayans where our guide told us a little bit of the history of the island and we had a chance for a quick family photo op. And if you see these little moth or butterfly looking things here in this shot, he told us that Cozumel just happened to be under the migration path of these. So the entire city of Cozumel had these little butterflies flying all over the place. It's pretty interesting to see. After driving through town for a little while, they took us to the northwest part of the island, just past the airport, that had a dirt road that cut through the jungle for a few miles, where we spent roughly 25 minutes or so splashing through puddles and bouncing along on muddy roads out there. You don't get to go very fast in here, but this was a lot of fun and something I've never done before, so it was a pretty cool experience. We switched drivers out here so both of us could get a chance to drive here, and our guide was great about making sure we had chances to stop if anybody else in anybody's group wanted to drive.
This was a lot of fun, but it did go fairly quickly. We weren't out here very long, like I said, 20 to 25 minutes. I wish we could have spent more time doing this, but we were on a schedule, and this was, after all, the all-terrain buggy and a snorkeling excursion. So it was a quick out and back through the bush, and we were back on the main roads to head to the snorkeling half of the trip. The drive to the snorkeling beach took a good 30 minutes, but I actually kind of enjoyed the drive. I thought it was pretty interesting to see Cozumel like this, but there is quite a bit more city driving than off-roading on this excursion, so be aware of that. You won't be off-roading to some remote beach either to go snorkeling, so it might be best to think of this excursion as the off-roading, snorkeling, and city exploration excursion, with a bunch of driving through the city to get to each place. Eventually, we ended up at a beach called Playa Uvis, I think that's how it's pronounced, about two miles south of the cruise port, and I was pleasantly surprised to find that there was a restaurant here, bathrooms, and a little market, so we all had a place to put our stuff. We weren't just out on some remote beach somewhere. It was, it was fairly developed. You had, you had places to, to congregate and leave your things, and we all put our stuff at a table at the restaurant got fitted for our fins and mask, then we spent about 30 minutes or so snorkeling in the water. The snorkeling here at this particular location was fine. It wasn't bad, it wasn't great, it was just fine. And Cozumel has some great snorkeling and world-class diving. If you're a certified diver and you're here in Cozumel, what are you doing on this tour? You gotta go diving. The water here is beautiful. It wasn't a problem with the water or the visibility. It was just, there wasn't a lot of interesting stuff to see at this particular location. There were some fish, but it was pretty much just flat bottom. I'm pretty happy just being in the water, so I'm not really complaining, but I've been to better snorkeling spots. Our tour guide here was great. He got into the water with us, he pointed out lots of different fish, and he told us a little bit about each one. And then he taught us all about how sunscreen has been found to damage coral reefs, so sunscreen that isn't certified as reef safe has been banned on Cozumel. And that's something you should know if you find yourself here. They won't allow you in the water with sunscreen on, so you might want to wear something else in the water to keep yourself from getting burned. After spending a little bit of time snorkeling, we did have some time at the restaurant for some of the best chips and guac we've ever had before getting back on the all-terrain vehicle and heading back to the pier. And then back at the pier, you are expected to tip your guide, so make sure you bring a little bit of extra cash for that too. Bottom line here, this was a fun experience for everybody. We had a good time and going through the muddy jungle in one of these razors was bumpy and memorable and fun and not the kind of thing most of us really can say we've done every day. I do wish that lasted longer though. Out of the four hour trip, most of it was spent driving from location to location through the city streets with only a little bit of off-roading and then some snorkeling at the end. And the snorkeling was only okay and it didn't last very long either. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I've posted a long, mostly unedited version of this tour where you can see pretty much all the driving around we did. Was it worth the price? Was it worth $89? That's really up to you and what your own budget allows. If you're a budget cruiser who's trying to kind of keep it on the cheap, I'd say probably not. But if you can afford something like this, then yeah, it's a pretty cool experience. Cruise excursions are all a little bit pricey and this is about in the same price range as most of them. It's hard to find a bargain excursion these days, but if it's just you or a couple, then $89 per person isn't too bad for something like this. It's a little over $20 an hour plus tip, plus the insurance racket that they have going on. But for a family, yeah, this can get pretty expensive. For a family of four, you're looking at about $400 for a four hour experience. It's really up to you if that's worth it. I hope this helped if you're thinking about booking this excursion and please like, share, and subscribe if you did find this helpful. Thanks.